Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld. Bullock commented about playing cards to Wolfen. Yeah, I really don't think I want this bed bug. I mean, if it's only worth 123 silver. It's not worth that much. I mean, Volpy Riding Storm is so much better. Bionic Animal Stomach did not get moved in anywhere. We got to do that. I mean, I guess. So, Nutty gives us wool. When? Whenever Nutty feels like it. I guess. I suppose if someone has probably earned this armchair, so... By the way, let's have this room actually put inside. I left that as outdoors. I, I goofed it! I'm sorry! What is this? Rough? Oh, spacecraft. Rough vertical planks. Just like how I like them. Rough vertical planks. Put it right there. Alright, where'd that spacecraft chunk? Dang it! I hate that little pop-up, because it doesn't... I lose it if I don't click on it fast enough. Butts. Well then. If that's how you're gonna do me. Oh yeah, we can automatically rebuild things that are destroyed now. I'm gonna toggle that on for now. Let's go ahead and tear up this flooring to get us just a little... Well, no, there's still some walls to tear up, so we're, we're good. We're doing good. We're doing good. Don't worry about it. Don't get it twisted. Actually, show all messages. Hey! Ah ha ha ha! Thank you, History Tab. Cool. So I can just right-click on any of them and it'll go to someone who's relevant to it. Great! Reynold is all patched up. He is gonna be missing his finger forever, which is unfortunate, but he should be alright. His spine got shot too, which is why he's moving a bit slower. I picked up a nice new gun, though. MRG5, 100% accuracy everywhere but the longest ranges. It sounds nuts. We also got Rain over here. I didn't rename Rain yet. Don't worry, we'll probably do that soon. Eventually. Maybe after getting her some clothes. Anyway. 82% for these little flammels. Come on, I want you to get done because I want to put a freezer in here. Over the wall cooler, indeed. So that I can, you know, not have to replace the wall. I mean, I could put in some more refrigerators instead, but each refrigerator costs something. I mean, the over the wall costs 200 when it's running at high power. That would be four refrigerators. Or two dual refrigerators, which is about the same. I mean, you get a little bit of savings if you do two of the other one, I suppose. What about a quad? 160, that saves even more. But, I mean, you see where I'm getting at here. It's better to just cool the... Actually, it's not better to just cool the... I mean... It is more cost-effective to cool the entire room. As far as power goes. We're at 416 out of 600 right now. What's taking up all our power? Let's see, you got... Uh, got the stove taking up 350. We got the refrigerator taking up 28, up to 200, I believe. At, well, no, up to 90 at max. So that's cool. What else is taking up power around here? Oh, the robot. The robot takes 100. I mean, we should have plenty of power pretty much at all times then, right? Yeah, once this thing is up and running, we'll definitely have enough power. Oh, well, no, this is also taking up 300. That's right. That's... That's the ticket. Plus, once this is all done, we'll have a lot more power draw down here. Don't worry. We'll need all the power we can get. Now this is inside. Please, hit me up with a chair. It'd be pretty great. How you guys coming along here? 
0.9 days. You got 20 days worth of food because we got more apples than you can shake an apple tree at. Did that actually make sense? I don't know if it did. Shadow hunted us a rat. It's pretty great. We did a, a bit of hunting. I wanted to get more leathers. And we did get some more leathers. As you can see. Bunch of different kinds of leathers, but we did get some more. That's the problem with fish, you know. They don't give you anything to make clothing out of. Damon, get your butt up. You're not that dead. We're gonna need some lights down here, I think. Let's go ahead and put a few more street lamps. How are we on components? 39 of them? We got plenty. Put a lamp like, uh... I don't know, right here? And then maybe one down here? Put a little, uh, paved tile underneath it. There you go. A little bit more lighting. We should probably get lighting indoors as well. I mean... There are other standing lamps. These ones, I think, are meant to go on tables, so, like, you could totally put those in here. Or, like, this little round table, you could set this up here. Boom, and then put a steel gas lamp on top of it. And boom, you have light in here. Oh, you could totally put them on these tables. Although, the other lamps, like Edison lamps, might be better. I mean, they only take up 25 watts. Standing lamp takes up 30, so it actually is cheaper to get... One of these little lamps. What about the Tesla arc lamp? It takes up 40. Ugh. Wolf meat's rotted away. I mean, that's unfortunate, but whatever. Edison tube? 25. So these are equal. So I tell you what. First of all, cargo pod. Second of all, light! Third of all, medicine. Sweet. Tell you what, I'll take the tube, but we'll also throw down an, a little lamp for everybody here. Which means we're going to need power. Which means it's conduit time. Remember kids, try not to put the conduits in the way, because they ugly. All right, of course, there's no choice right here. We're going to have to, like, get a conduit in the way. I need to get that mod that makes conduits invisible again, because, God, I hate the look of conduits. I just think they ugly, yo. Does it automatically put an underwater conduit if you tell it to do that? Yeah, conduit up the whole base. Maybe it does? I don't know. Yo, hey, I put a lamp there. What happened to it? You wrecked my lamp. All right. That's a big use of steel. Let's look for more. Here's some steel. Mine it out. That's a lot, a lot of steel. All right. No complaints here. If I need it, I need it, right? Hey, the boys are back in town. Hey, boys. Senpai, I believe you're carrying the extra pistol. Yeah, you are. And I'm carrying this MRG. Micro Railgun Mark V. Fifth installment of the top of the line railgun technologies. Very accurate and powerful. Will make propellant weapons seem Neolithic. I mean, it does seem pretty swoot. I'm not going to lie. I should probably go ahead and give it a Dismas. So that he can hunt with it. So I'm probably going to end up doing that. And then he could trade me like... I don't know why he's carrying these. But yeah, as nice as that would be to have me running around with an awesome pistol... I, I can just live with my auto pistol. Dismas, when you get a chance, run over here. Yeah, buddy. And also drop this and this. 
Okay, I'm going to pick up a melee weapon here. Ironwood club, ironwood club. Apparently they love making clubs out of ironwood. Woody wood. Yeah, that's good wood too, I guess. I mean, I... I don't know, man. I don't know if I want a bunch of people with clubs running around. A colossal arrow fleet. A strange floating creature bounces around in the distance, blundering around the landscape. A small horde of smaller specimens seem to be attracted to it. Follow it at a short and follow it at a short distance. They seem to be mostly harmless and will probably leave the area when they have fed. Whoa! Cool. A huge floating gelatinous creature propelled by hydrogen. It collects from the water and various plant matter. These squishy creatures wander the lands, aimlessly bouncing off objects in their path. One of the few rare creatures around here that isn't strangely out for human blood. Well, isn't that nice? This one seems to have grown to extreme size and seems to be too old to reproduce. A small number of yellow, one, uh, younger ones, not yellow ones, seem to be attracted to it and follow it everywhere. That's cool. I don't know if they're worth anything. I don't want to... I don't see the point of just butchering them to find out. Yeah, we need to get this freezer area started. Let's go ahead and slap an over-the-wall cooler in here. Probably right, right here. And then the blight happens, and I'm just sad. Orders. No, not harvest. Cut plants. Cut all blighted plants. Well, thank God we got some heal root first. Okay. Cut all blighted plants, please. Senpai. Senpai, the blighted plants. Sen sen stop. Did he just run away instead of... Oh, it's nighttime. Well, this blight's going to spread. That's okay. Just cut everything. Could do it in the morning. I don't even care anymore. Hey, I got a couple of lamps up. How are we doing on steel? It's not getting harvested right now, but we're doing some butchering. This chinchilla is good as dead. Mainly because it's dead. But anyway. Dude, I love the fact that it does the maintenance, too. In fact, if it didn't do that, Bob would be far less amazing. But as it is, Bob's amazing. Let's see... Yeah, I probably need more plant cutting going on here. Yeah, guys, you know, plant cutting orders, kind of important. I don't care if you're botching some of the harvest. There's a 40-year-old psychiatric patient named Scooby. He'll die in eight days. There's a sleeping mechanoid in his area. Ugh. I mean, he is nearby. I feel like I'm kind of obligated to at least try to save him. But let's get these plants cut, people. Come on now, contemptuous remark. Excuse me? Said I made a contemptuous amount remark about Reynolds' mother's way of speaking. Well, stop it. I don't know why y'all being jerks to each other. This is like all blighted now. Dude, it spread so fast amongst the freaking... Hey, cut this. There you go. I don't know if three people are enough to stop this blight. It keeps spreading. It keeps repropagating. We got it. All right, the blight is solved. We can allow sowing in the heel root area again. A temporary setback, especially since we have, you know, well, way more veggies than we'll ever need for a while. We definitely need more steel, though. 
So, someone, as soon as someone feels like mining, I'll be Volpi or Senpai. We'll get that done. Senpai, of course, wants to throw down the heel root first, and who can blame him, really? Is there... Actually, there are steel buildings to deconstruct as well. Some walls up here that are steel. That's not steel. Ah, there's steel wall. More steel walls. Looks like that's all the buildings. Well, that's cool. It'll just allows our construction workers to help out with the whole steel gathering thing. Which is good. How are we doing on this? 1.1 days. Dude! Xavier! Tiny Flommel. He's here. And he can already learn how to haul. He's actually my little champion. And here's Nico. His brother. We've done it. Now we're ready for the cooler in earnest. Oh man, that feels good. Should really have that connecting across there as well. Anyway. Yeah. We got little flommels. We also have most of the uh, lamps put in here. We ended up with a lot less steel than I thought we would. Oh, uh, hey, we got lights now. That light does not go very far, does it? It does not. But it does extend to both sides of the bed, which is what I think is most important. Means you can read, you see. Alright, gathering a little bit more steel. It's probably going to go into the conduits first, which is probably okay. Although the sooner I can get these, this over the wall cooler done, the better. Especially at the rate that we're going to be getting some shellfish meat. Let's go. Didn't I have my other camera spot somewhere up here? Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, that's good. Good, good, good. Eventually, I can show off a whole progression, like, gif of how our colony has moved forward over the days. Not right this second. Oh, you don't want to tear down this one wall, which will let me go ahead and put down the order that... There you go. Thank you. Jeez. Thought you were just going to be jerks about it. How much more uh, conduit do we have to put down? 35? Uh, 61? Ish? Yeah? It's not too bad. Rain? With a break risk. What, just because you're naked and you've been insulted? Of course, someone spoke with Rain about robotics. Who who spoke to you? I don't understand. You know, you'd think I'd be mad about losing all that food, but I'm not really. I don't think it's that bad a thing at all. As long as we keep getting steel, I'm okay with it. And it is slowly going into that cooler. One drop at a time. And conduits. Alright, Shadow's room now has light. How's everyone else doing? Need like four or five more here. We can connect all of these rooms as well. So we're almost there. Three hours and we got some chem fuel. I'm looking forward to this. Two hours. Come on, chem fuel. One hour. Does it just... Does it just poot it out right in front? Or does someone have to actually come and harvest it? We're gonna find out. It's done it! 
We have chem fuel. Damon is immediately like, yeah, power. It's a thousand watts. Seven days. Seven days and this reproduces intent? Dude. This thing could fuel two of these. Like, with no problem. Maybe if you stagger them. But yeah, it could totally fuel two of those. That's amazing. I'm actually in love. I need to get some light in here as well. For research purposes. Oh, that's why you did the over-conduit. Because you put down the... Alright. Works for me. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to complain too much. We have light. We have light in everybody's rooms. Fantastic. And everybody has at least a decent room right now. Rain is a slightly impressive one. I don't know if that's just because it's not dirty or... Because everything in it is good, I guess? I mean, everything in Volpe and I's room is good. Slightly dirty, clean. That's the difference. That's the big old rub. Alright, our walkways are almost finally done. Still waiting on this cooler. Well, once the cooler's done, we'll enter a new era. An era where we can actually keep food for once in our life. Also, rip up this flooring, too. We'll all be doing the mining dance. And the milking dance. And the riding dance. <laughs> and the talking about learning cards dance. How's our relations doing, by the way? Senpai and Rain apparently getting the well swimmingly. According to this... Yeah, look at that. Doesn't like the fact that she's lazy, but they seem to like each other quite a bit. Except by not a huge fan of his brother. Lazy, annoying voice. This doesn't work out for him. Not not his favorite kind of person. Whatever. It is what it is. Volpe and I get along all right. Mystic and Shadow seem to be best chums. Wow, 90 and 86. They really are. Talked about robotics. One. All right. Reynold has a couple of friends. Damon has a couple of friends, or at least one. Volpe doesn't seem to like him very much. I don't like him either, but that's mostly because of the annoying voice. We haven't really talked to each other much outside of that. We all seem to be getting along fairly well. Faction-wise, how y'all doing? Here's us. Turn this into a circle, or we can keep it like this. I like the circle. So we get along with the Dominion of... But not the Amalgamation. Everyone else kind of hates us. Especially the Bladed Killers. Dude. They're Commando Squad. I don't want to fight them. They sound terrifying. There's more bananas. How many banana trees are there around here? 46? Harvest them all. Machining is researched. Eventually, we can actually, you know, make use of that research if we can get this done. New lover, Senpai Pursued Rain. Wow, I was just looking at that. By telling the tale about practicing craps. All right, well, damn, that was fast. I mean, it doesn't matter who moves into whose room. I suppose Rain technically has a better room, so we'll move Rain over. All right. Do me a favor. Build me a double bed. Make it out of wood. Put it right here, and then we'll move it into the right spot. But yeah, congratulations. I guess. Need a little bit more steel for that. For that cooler, and we'll be good to go. We seem to be doing good on our haul of wood. Another caravan request? Dude, all you do is request... 105 plasteel for a bionic lung and a 40 millimeter cannon. I mean, I the bionic lung sounds neat. Not gonna lie. Oh, I forgot about the incapacitated dude as well. I mean, he's not even a day, a whole day away. 
Problem is, I don't really want to fight a sleeping mechanoid, even if I do have a swoot ass pistol. Who has some decent shooting skill, but does not have a gun? Mystic likes shooting. Oh, wow. Rain is actually a pretty good shot. Sorry, Mystic. You're going to have to hold out for a bit. I think I'm going to give this to Rain. Just because we need our best, you know, while we have limited weaponry. Hello, Meadow Ava. You're a pretty bird. You're a bird, right? Large flightless bird with colorful feathers. Mostly found in the plains eating fruits and berries. Many forget that underneath the majestic feathery coat is a wild animal with a razor sharp beak and claws that a match. Apparently its eyes naturally... They naturally attract the eyes and hands of those who wander by. So, when I said pretty bird, apparently I wasn't joking. What's his chances of attacking? 5%? Probably want to leave it alone then. Unless we're going to hunt it. But I'm going to... I'm going to avoid hunting until we get this room frozen. We got 16 packaged survival meals. That's pretty great. Anyway, once these two are put into the same room here, we'll have an extra room to go. And that'll be pretty good as well. I heard more building getting done. There's the bed. It's good. All right. Uninstall this bed. Then we'll put this one in its place. Bob, you are amazing. Senpai, rain. Boom. Congratulations. Welcome to your new room. Cool. And now we have space for that refugee if we decide to go get them. And we have a cooler. Everyone hold on to your butts. Negative nine in here, please. We'll see if one cooler is enough to freeze the whole room. It... I would think it would be, but you know, you never know. Why is the current power use low? What's wrong with you? You okay there, Mr. Cooler? Doesn't seem like it's, uh, Trying to cool the room all that hard. If we, uh, maybe move it over. See if that helps. There it goes. Okay. I don't know, man. Maybe it just didn't want to work on top of the butcher table. There we go. Four, three, two... One. Zero. Negative. All right. Awesome. Now we can hunt. What the hell was all that noise? I just heard it sounded like something getting... Oh, it was probably like more conduits getting built. Whatever. Anyway, uh, hunting, hunting. Hunt some... Tortoises. We'll have turtle soup. Pebble mitt. Pebble mitts are boulder mitts which have evolved in Rimworld's rich and narrow labyrinthian caves where massive size is a hindrance. Instead of huge boulders, they use smaller rocks as protection. They, small blocks of stone periodically get loose from this rock and can be used as building materials. So if you tame them, you could build with them? This game is weird. Get me some wild boar meat. Uh, not the pebble mitt. I don't think we should kill that. Apparently not the emu or it will attack. Don't get it twisted. There are boomalopes about. Could hunt a few freaking elephants too, but I don't know if I want to. Ay ay ay. The sound of that gun, man. Dude just destroys. Really you just going to run around and kill them. You're not gonna... Yeah, nice try, Cassowary. Holy crap, man. I 
I would say watch out, Senpai, but I'm pretty sure you got nothing to worry about. Because Dismas is just running around basically one-shotting everything, or two-shotting everything occasionally. Jeez! Nah, I'm gonna follow him for a bit. He's just running around... He just runs to something, points at it for like half a second, and it dies! It's actually brutal as heck. Did all the conduits get put up? I think it did. They did. Ooh, we're done in here. We're ready to build actual rooms now, or actual production areas. So I want a smithy. We'll do an electric one. And I want a machining table. We'll do an electric one. As opposed to those, uh, you know, fueled machining tables that you all know so much about. We can build a crematorium if we need to. I don't think we need to. We haven't had an actual attack in a while. Knock on wood, of course, but... I think that's weird. Electric tailoring bench is what I wanted as well, yeah. Give me one of them. Throw down some chairs for these boys. Uh, 110 cloth. Did the price for the chairs go up? When I wasn't paying attention? I guess so. Uh, we don't have 110 of anything, do we? I mean, we got 124 camel hide. I think we just do regular stools. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and put a wooden door right here in the middle of that. And then the next three will have its own door, and then the next set will have its own door. You see how it's gonna go. But we'll find out more about how it's going to go next time here on That Plays RimWorld 1.0 Modded Edition, all that good stuff. If you enjoyed it, make sure you let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more because it's going to keep coming. Isn't that right, Damon? That's yes, right. It's not going to stop coming. Thank you again for watching this episode of That Plays RimWorld 1.0. My name is Thet. I haven't put any flooring over here, and I will see you in the next video. Also, I got this going to nothing now. Man, I am sloppy. No, well, that's not going... That's... I'm sloppy and dumb. I'll see you later.